All right, guys. Let's see what I got. Um, you know, of course, there's a there's another live sale coming up this week, so I gotta find stuff for that. I emptied my my box of the stuff that's sold. Some of it's on the table next to me. I still have to get it upstairs. But this is going to be an eBay day because my hip hurts. I can sit, but I can't stand. I have called a nice little box. I have called the doctor. I am going back to get a steroid shot in my hip because I think that's be the best thing. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this is this is from out of a jewelry bag that I've had for God knows how long. Um, back in the day when you could find such things at Goodwill. And I think that had been in a live sale, so we'll set that aside. Now, I don't know. Well, it's got a bird on it. Rooster. Susan Wingett. Okay, no idea if that's going to be eBay or live sale. You know, that's a nice size. Would be a great water bowl for a dog. You know, because dogs, you know, especially the, the medium-sized breeds, and they need a, a kind of a deep bowl. And uh, and cats do, too. Cats, the way cats drink water is that their tongue curls back underneath itself to create a little spoon. Uh, I, I don't know who made this. This is not marked, but isn't that a cool... Or does it go this way? I think it's an orchid. But that is a cool thing. It is a bowl. There's no marks. If you know what it is, put it in the description for me. Now, these had been in a live sale and nobody wanted them, so I'm going to take these three, get them photographed, and try to get these up on eBay today. I, I Lisa Frank stuff does sell. And I have found in the Black Hole Challenge Room, I had found these three bead kits. Now, these are more modern Lisa Frank, but they still will sell. If you hear a noise in the background, it's because I have Flippin' Crazy is doing uh, her live. And um, if you don't know Lisa at Flippin' Crazy, she, um, she does a lot of jewelry. But she now is doing a lot of... <laughs> A lot of everything because she has to move. Um, she's not being given a choice about that. Everybody's got to move out of the building. This isn't interesting. I think that's the clothing for Grease. I need to see if I can get in there and fix his leg. His leg be loose. But there's no label or anything. But sadly, I think his clothing is glued onto him. So let's see what I can do with him. Now this, this is in its original box. It is, oh, there's my Halloween one. It is a glitter-tastic ice bucket, but the finial, look at that lid. Look at that, look at that. Isn't that like really cool? So I have to fix that. I'm going to glue that today and get that fixed. So you know what? Let's put this back here on my pile of boxes that I have to get to into the mail. And let's see. This is an old bag from Goodwill. When uh, Mike goes to the one card shop, the really good Goodwill, where I tend to find glass, is right down the shopping center from it. So he goes in to buy Magic the Gathering, and I go in to find stuff. Now, I specifically bought this for on eBay, so we know that's an eBay. I am so tempted to put that together and keep it, because it makes... But see, that doesn't really show it, because that's just a cartoon drawing. So what does it really look like? But that is very cool. That's the receipt. I did find this. Um, I haven't decided where that's going yet. I think that will go on eBay. Now, this, this I got. I have to find out the maker. This I got for a live sale. Because this is a lovely martini mixer. It's the martini pitcher. Um, 
There is a, it looks like two L's on there, but there's an L. So this is by Libby Glass. So that's definitely for live sale. And there's something. I can feel it. There's something. Oh, that's right. This is Roy Rogers. Rodeo Universal. There's a cup. I found the matching cup on, um, on that day, too. And then, like, these are old. These are not recent. Wait do you see this. Now, I'm going to wash these. I have to throw them in the wash. But look at these. this curtain. Look at all the birds. Look at all the birds. So I have to find the other one. Now, they're summer weight curtains, so they're kind of... They're kind of sheer, not totally sheer, but they're a really lightweight cotton. I saw a tag. Where did it go? Okay, so there it is. So, hand wash, cool iron, 100% cotton, made in India. So, these are not going to get a hot water wash and a real hot dryer. Um, but they are, it's just... Fabulous. So I need to wash it and then find the other one and I need to get the measurements. And then we'll see if there's enough interest in them. They will probably go into um, a live sale. Now, I found these and it's a whole bag. They're not even opened. Well, these little parasol things. Ooh. Oh, I already sealed it. Yeah, I should have shoved some of these into the into the box that's going to Sarah at Thrift U full of little itty bitty goodies. So I'm thinking I will hang on to these because I've decided I want to have um, a sale that is for assemblages, for crafters. So cool stuff like that is getting put aside. And we will see what we've got. Now, where's that other box that I know has got to go on to... Whoops, come on. Got to move the note cards. So, I have this. And it's the paperwork. So I have a bunch of these decals for different states. Do I have a Texas? Vermont, Utah, Tennessee. No, I don't have a Texas. So I had already sold a few of these, but I, uh, I need to relist those, the ones that didn't sell, and get all these other ones. This is the first priority day. Get them up onto eBay. And let's see if I can find another little bagger box to see what we can go through. Okay, I've got this. While I was getting this... I was listening to Lisa on Flippin' Crazy, and that poor darling, there has been a lot of ghosting going on in the reselling community right now, and hitting the vintage and the jewelry sellers of people either claiming for a refund the day the item was shipped, and then not wanting to return the item. There has been a rash of ghosting, which is somebody bids high and then disappears, Poor Lisa got stung with one who had $400 worth of stuff from her because she does her sales and then invoices once a month because it maximizes your shipping for all her jewelry. And that poor darling, the woman completely ghosted her. She had sent her information. Her information turned out to be bogus. And, geez, I mean, $400 for somebody in an apartment, that's their, you know, a good chunk of their rent. I feel so bad for Lisa. So if you have a chance to go check out Flippin' Crazy, by all means go. I will put a link in the description for her channel 
when I get uh, get this uploaded. I just can't believe that. Man, you know, that's just awful. So I see a lot of Harry Potter in this bag. Old Harry Potter cards. But, looky, looky. That's an old Disney. Whitman. Whitman, I know that logo. That's Whitman. You know, these have been floating around for years. There should be more of these floating around. Oh, oh, Pokemon from the movie in 2000. Pokemon. Pokemon is so flippin' hot right now. So I am... Oh, look, that one's a foil one. Oh, I know these are going to go right up online real quick because these suckers... I don't know if I have any gems or not. They're not graded. They are used, most likely a little bit at least, um, just from bouncing around the bag. But my son had enough sense to put that one in his sleeve. So I will be taking care of them today. Take that other one from the movie. Um... Hmm. It looks like What are you? You're different. The Hobbit. Okay, we'll go set that one aside too. I'm not going. It's easy to tell because like all the Harry Potter ones have a dark edge. So you can tell. Well, there's another Pokémon in a sleeve. Okay, put that down there. Duel Masters. Duel Masters? Weren't they the ripoff to Yu-Gi-Oh? That one's probably not worth diddly. Diddly. So when you're like going to an estate sale and you see these kind of things. Oh, Digimon. Digimon is good too. Oh, now I did this. I know I did this. These are all the holograph cards. Um, cause I was the one that was into playing. Oh, Lord of the Rings cards. Wait. Yeah. These were mine. Take a look at those. And the rest is Potter because they're all a certain size and all the others are slightly bigger. So I could tell by the feel. So we're going to keep that bag all Potter. We're going to stick that up there. I will be saving that. So when I find more, this will definitely go into a live sale. I know there's a card with Jiminy Cricket. You're not getting the Blue Fairy because she's, I think, in my china closet. Um, there's a couple of Disney Whitman cards floating around. So you may get those at some point. Now, I don't know what this is. This, um, this whole little box was from right before I got, well, actually, after I got hurt. We went and picked up this stuff. I have um, three ladies who are older, and I am helping them uh, come out. I thought it was a light, but I'm hearing an awful lot of rattling around in there. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. So I'll have to look into that closer. But they were just cleaning out Compression sustainer. Now this is the kind of stuff, this little electronic stuff, can be worth a ton of money on eBay. So while it doesn't go to... That's old junk mail. While it doesn't work for a live sale, you know, this is still sealed in the package. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Dragon Racing Team. What? What is this? Chinese astrological racing cars. What did she give me? What year are you? Made in Macau, which is an island off the coast of China. 19... I think that says 1987. So that's the year of the bull. What do we got? We've got the bull. We've got the mouse. We've got the dog. <gasps> can't believe this and the rooster the year of the rooster oh my that is so cool and then there's this 
Doesn't have that feel of celluloid. I think this is just plastic. Cool looking. For somebody that likes elephants, that will be cool. We'll save that for a live sale. <laughs> An old Apple phone case? I think safe to say we could trash that. Oh. Ben Schweitz? German? It's a nice, nice. It's a letter opener. Live sale. Uh, pens. Always a good thing. So, okay, that's that was a major surprise. She occasionally has had, this one lady, toys that she had bought, you know, for the grandkids or for her own kids, and they never did anything with them, and now they're all out of the area, and they said, don't worry, just get rid of it all. So, bonus find. So, now, this is the other... Sometimes you go to a Goodwill, they don't have any paper. And luckily I was buying these curtains. So, that's, this should be the cup. And turn around. There he is, Roy Rogers. I will have to find out who made it. But that would most likely be better to have that set with the bowl go up on eBay. Because... You know, it's not just about emptying the house for me. I have got to also make money. Oh, isn't this pretty? Oh, wow. Look at the sparkle of this thing. Oh, wowza. Hey, guys, if you have any idea what this is, who it is, please let me know. Please let me know. Holy Moses. This sucker's got to go into a live sale for you guys. You know, I don't do glass much because I just don't know my glass, but... Okay, and here is the other curtain. So they... Actually, I'll put it right into the bag. I'll put the other one in the bag. And I have some things that have to go in on Delicate anyway. They can go with it because I've got other fabric. So, not bad. Not bad. Found a few things that will be in a live sale coming up this week. You know, there will be a haul video, but today has to be, since I can only really sit, I'm standing for this, and I've had to pause the camera a couple times. So, um, so by all means, please let me know if you know who this is. I mean, I'm rubbish as it is at finding. I can hardly find clear uh, colored glass, let alone a clear but I can't get it. And it's heavy. It is heavy. So I'm thinking this has got to be some crystal. Partly the shine and the reflection, but the weight. There's some lead lead to this glass. Absolutely. And uh, so that, and I will look up this Libby piece and get it washed. Get this washed. And we know those will be in the live sale this week. So I will see you then. As always, if you like what you see, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, hit all notifications. Set it to all because um, I'm still seriously recovering and I don't even have an office yet in my house to film at. So uh, my, my videos are sporadic. Um, I'm usually always live at 11 p.m. Eastern Time on this overstuffed house on Thursday nights. It'll either be a sale or an unboxing of some kind where you help me go through and figure out what it did I inherit from three different people. So have a good week, guys. Don't let the heat get to you too much. Seems most of the country is, is having some nasty hot weather. So I'll see you Thursday night. Bye.